Multiple reports today of debris washing ashore on Lake Erie, near where a small plane disappeared last week. And with better weather now in the area, authorities resumed a search for the plane today near Cleveland. Ralph Iannotti reports. Six people were on board the plane when it disappeared over Lake Erie last week. John Fleming, the chief executive of Superior Beverage Company out of Columbus, was the pilot. Also on board the plane, his wife, their two teenage sons, and two neighbors. They had gone to Cleveland for a Cavaliers game and were on Columbus when the plane suddenly lost altitude two miles into flight. Today, officials confirmed a bag that washed ashore near a private harbor on Sunday came from the plane. The bag contained items belonging to Fleming, including his ID. Fleming and the five others are presumed dead. We want to start off with giving our condolence to the family uh, and all the people who uh, are involved and, and the people, the friends and those who care. And uh, we've gone from the rescue into recovery. Cleveland officials have also received multiple reports of debris washing ashore near Burke Lakefront Airport where the plane took off. Some of the debris has been collected but not yet verified as coming from the missing Cessna. Seven boats and four dive teams were part of the search today along with the police helicopter. Our goal right now is to extract the aircraft from the water and uh, uh, bring it to closure. Fleming's father says his son was an experienced pilot and just updated his pilot's license about a year ago. Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.